Hi there, Michael Griffiths here, Referral Marketing Guru, and thanks for joining us on the Business Connectors. Um, the Business Connectors coming to you from Village HQ here in North Sydney, and really we are the only show that's going to bring you closer to the business world of Australia and connecting you with some really great people who have got some great insights, some great tips, and some great ways to be able to help your business. Today we've got James Short, who is the founder of Goals Tribe. Uh, really, James is one of the leading communication and goal setting experts in Australia. So really excited to have him along and we'll bring him on board very shortly and introduce him properly. Uh, but a little bit about James, um, but something which I suppose I wasn't really aware of up until about six, seven months ago is how important communicating in the right way is when you are at networking events, when you've got referral partners, and even when you're speaking to your own staff, your own clients, your own contractors. Um, it really changed my world when you learned how to do that properly. So I thought it would be a great value to have James on and share some of those insights. So welcome, James. Thank you, Michael. Much appreciated. Welcome, everyone. Very excited to be here. I'll have to contain myself a little bit because there's so much to, to share, so much uh, knowledge and experience I'd like to share with you all. But we're going to keep it nice and brief and to the point, but uh, looking forward to, to sharing some insights. Fantastic. Well, let's start off. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Goals Tribe and what it is that you actually do. Fantastic. A bit of a quick background. My background is in the health and fitness industry. For, for 16 years, I was, I guess, Mr. Health and Fitness. Uh, I owned a couple of gyms in uh, Surrey Hills in the city. And uh, fortunate enough to be voted personal trainer of the year two years in a row. Had business uh, awards from nationally and also from within the fitness industry as well. But what I found though, Michael, was the reason why we were so successful is for one main reason. That's people. Both people on, a, on an element with uh, clients, but also with the team. And when we nut that down even further, what we realized was how we were connecting with these people, and that was communication. So in 2008, fast forward that, when um, I came to a realization that sitting around the table with my business partner and business coach at the time, ready to, 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 to take the world on by storm, to let's roll the, the centers out across Australia, business partner at the time said, I'm happy where we're at. I went, oh, that's a change in, in vision. That's a, a change in where we're going to go. What would it be like if I bought you out? And within four hours, we came up with the heads of agreement and I was actually selling my share of my business. And my business coach at the time said, you know what, in my 15 years of, of coaching, I've never seen that happen so, so quickly. I said, well, if you're not on the same page, if you're like this, which so many business owners are with their business partners, then what's the point in moving forward? And I had that realization of where that actually came from in the years of actually working on myself and my business partner, we were out of alignment. Mm. And so I see so many business partners are out of alignment and also out of alignment with their team that has a massive impact on their business. So I sold my share, moved on and uh, developed Goals Tribe where we actually specialize in two main areas. And that's, as Michael said, goal setting and communication. So so many business owners out there um, going through the walls, they're charging a, a, a head, full steam ahead. And what happens, they look around, they go, where's my team gone? They don't realize they've got a, a bunch of people there willing and able to help them succeed with their business goals, but they don't know and they don't know how to. So what I do, I come into businesses and, and work with the business owners, the managers and the teams to making sure that where are the goalposts? Let's get out of the trenches and, and where we're actually going towards. Where where are those, where's the end line? Then how do we enroll the team to that vision? What communication styles that we need to do? How do we need to create the systems in relations to communicate effectively amongst the team in order to get the goalpost? And that then filters out through clients, suppliers, even at home. So that is in a nutshell is what Goals Tribe is about. And how we do that is obviously through workshops, uh, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, both on a, on a corporate and SME level. Fantastic, great. So we've probably got people right now, as I was, well, I know how to say hello, I know how to say goodbye, I know how to gossip sometimes. Um, every now and then I actually know how to say what I'm in my head. So why do I need to communicate in a different way? Tell us why that's, why communicating in a way that makes sense to the person that you're communicating to is so powerful. I'll give you, it's a really good example. I'll give you a little example of what happened yesterday. I ran a, a workshop yesterday and we had a, 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 10 business owners around the table and we, I did my, one of my three hour workshops. <clears throat> At the break, one of the guys said, I've got an issue. I've been, I've got a, a proposal out there. It's a million dollar proposal. This guy's a friend of mine. I've emailed him, I've, I've sent him text messages, 
but it's just not responding. Mm. I said, well, have you changed your communication style up? He goes, well, what do you mean by that? I said, you are communicating on how you communicate, but you don't know what's actually happening in his world. I said, try something different. This afternoon when you leave the workshop, go in and drop in and say hello. So you know what? He did. And I actually rang him this morning. I said, how did you go with that? He said, you wouldn't believe it. I said, why? What happened? He said, I went in there and he was so happy to see me. He said, mate, you wouldn't know what's happening. I've got, I've got a big tribunal case. I've got staff down. I've got this issue. And I'm getting 100 emails a day. And yours are in there. It's important, but I haven't got to it. He said, your proposal on my desk, we're still going ahead with you but just give me another week or two to get through it. I said, that is a classic example of how to communicate effectively. Get out of your own style and look at how you need to communicate based on the person style that you, you want that result with. Yeah, so, so true and so important. Um, quite often, we're not flexible enough in within our own behavior style or our own communication style to actually think about it from the other person's point of view. So um, great insight there. So there's this thing called personality traits. Apparently, we all have different personalities. And depending on our personality depends also how we should be communicated. Correct. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, that's it's so true, so true. And the personality traits is, is their four main personality traits. And you may have heard them about them before. I like to use the, the, what are called the disk profiling personality traits. You may have heard them as business owners out there. You may have um, done some education around it. But what I realize is that the benefit of, of utilizing the disk personality traits is it's easy to use. It's easy to identify. And it's a very powerful tool to empower business owners out there to communicate effectively. However, the difference is, is theory and experience are poles apart. You may know the theory, you may know, oh yes, I know what that personality trait is about, but have you experienced it? Once again, in a workshop that I did a little while ago, we actually got people to experience the opposite of their personality trait. Do you think it was an easy task? Wow, there was perturbation throughout the whole group. It was awesome to watch. And so what happens is when you actually try different personality traits on, based upon who you're communicating with to match and mirror their personality trait, it's a whole different experience. And when people actually get it and they can actually really use it, it's phenomenal. And let me go through, Michael, just quickly the four different personality traits there are and how best to communicate with each of them. So the first one is, is what I call the D-style personality trait. And these are the, the direct, these are decisive, results-orientated and goal-focused um, personalities. However, Within the general population, there's only about 3% of these people make up the general population. But what I've found in the business community, that's actually a higher percentage rate. Because business owners are usually go-getters, they're usually quite focused and quite direct. The next personality trait is the I style. These are the influencers. These are the, the people that you're out there socializing. They're usually the first to be there, the last to leave. Sometimes they're dancing on the tables. Who knows? It depends on how much alcohol is involved. And so what happens is that these influencers, they're around about 11% of the, the general population, but they make up enough noise for us all. Then there's the, the S-style personality. Now, these are the steady relators. These are great loyal team members to your team. They're the, I guess, what's in it for the team. Now, these people actually make up 69% of the population, very large amount of the general pops. The last personality trait is the C-style personality trait. And these people make up about 17% of the population. These people love systems. They love the processes. They love the steps. The one, two, three, four, five, six process. If you go from one to step seven, they'll call you back and go, no, 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 come back, we've missed a few steps. Now, when we're communicating um, effectively to each of these styles, I'll give you a little couple of hints. When we're talking to the and communicating to the D style, be brief, direct, and to the point. Don't go with them with a, a problem. Go with a couple of solutions and your preferred solution and the reason why. You'll be able to get things done a lot quicker and achieve results a lot faster. With the I style personality trait, really make it a bit of fun. Turn that problem into a game. Turn whatever, if you've got a sales target, turn it into a game. Turn it, make it sociable. However, give them a framework to work with you. Give them a time framework. We need to get this done within the next 24 hours. All right? We need to get this done within, we're going to debrief within the next five minutes. With the S-style personalities, 
and you can see how I'm slowing mm. my voice down a little bit. If you've noticed, it's suddenly changed from being high energy to now being low energy. That's right, and there's a reason. The S-style personalities, they are the steady relators. They're the, they're the, the team people. They're great in actually organizing teams and great with HR, but they don't like a lot of change. So no surprises with them. Really build that loyalty and trust with them, and they'll be very loyal and trustworthy back to you. And also with the C-style personalities, how best to communicate with them. Make sure you have your case well presented before you go in and, and communicate with the C. Make sure your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed. Okay. Now with the D's and the I's, there's a couple little other little tips I like to share. With the D's and the I's, as you can see, they're more extroverted. They're more out there. They're more energetic. With the C's and the S's, they're more introverted. Okay. With the D's and the C's, they're more task orientated people, and with the D and with the I's and the S's, they're more people orientated people. So there's a quick little summary of the four different personality types and how best to communicate with each of them. Yeah, fantastic, and and just so powerful. Once you actually understand how to do that, um, you can actually influence the outcome in the way that you need it to be influenced. So use the use the magic, as we say, but use it for good at the same time. Um, so business connectors is very much about you understanding how to go out there and connect with other people also. So James, you're a great networker. Thank you, you connect to a lot of people. What would be one or two tips that you have going to a networking event around how do you do that and integrate what you know communication-wise at a networking event to get the most out of that networking event? Yeah, fantastic. I'd love to give a couple of tips. The first tip I'd love to share at a networking event is how can I help? When we go to a networking event, so many there people are there to pitch their service of what do you do and what do you do and how do you do it, blah, blah, blah. But when you go with the viewpoint of how can I help, it changes the whole conversation. It changes the whole dynamic of that relationship. How can you help through? Who would you like to be connected to? Um, what, what is the biggest challenge that I can help you with over the next week or month? And I think that is a really great way to, to engage with people and communicate with people at a networking event. Number two, a second tip I'd like to share is go as a team because your energy as a, as a team is really effective and you can support one another. Have you heard about Michael Griffiths? Have you heard about the Referral Marketing Guru? Oh my goodness, well, let me introduce you right now. And so that's a really good way to support your team members or your other uh, professionals that you work with at networking events. Third tip I'd like to share is, is actually have some fun with it. Because what happens is we get so serious about, oh, I've got to take all these business cards and I've got, to, I've got to go out and meet all these people. But at the end of it, by having fun, you're actually building relationships. And this is the whole thing around networking. It's about building ongoing relationships. You're not going to get a business deal out of going to one networking event. But by introducing yourself and serving people, helping your team, you're building everlasting relationships will then result in doing business. People want to do business with people that they know and trust and have that relationship with. So they're the three tips I'd like to share. Fantastic, great. And, and what's such um, great insight there in terms of if you're someone who's going to networking events and haven't really been getting results from networking events, you probably want to have a, have a bit of a replay of those three tips and give them a go because you'll find that you'll actually have a change in your outcome at the same time. So if there was one thing that we could tell all our businesses that are business owners that are watching us today, one thing that's going to help them in terms of being able to grow their network, what would that one thing be? I think is just action. Um, what I find is is most people hesitate, but by taking action at putting yourself out there and actually learning more about yourself on how to communicate effectively with others and build everlasting relationships, you'll be surprised at what happens to you to your business. So time and time again, I, I see people at network events sit on their hands and have a coffee or have a beer in the corner, and and they might grab five, 10, 15 cards, but then they take those cards back and they actually sit in the shoebox. That's gathering dust. Get them out. Actually start having conversations and building those relationships, but you've got to take action. It's no use just sitting in the corner. Get out there, put yourself out there, and embrace. You'd be surprised what happens in return. Fantastic. Great. Great tip. So how do people find out more about the communication course? How do people find out about the goal setting course that you have? 
let people know how they can connect with you. Yeah, definitely. Goalstribe.com is our, is our website. We've got some great tips and some lots of information about what we just covered around DISC and communication and also goal setting. There's a free ebook on there as well about how to get started with, with your goals, with your business goals. Um, there's a couple of videos that feel free to download and watch. Drop me a line, james at goalstribe.com. I'm always happy to help answer any of your questions. If you've got any frustrations, um, particularly when I say, what's your biggest frustration with your team right now? There's usually an essay that comes with it, so happy to help you with that as well. So goalstribe.com or james at goalstribe.com. Fantastic. Very good. Thank you, James. So thank you for joining us at our first Business Connector TV show here at villageentrepreneurtv.com.au. Some upcoming events for August, which you might be interested in. Uh, Tuesday, August 19th, we have a How to Build Relationships and Referrals through LinkedIn. But also the last Friday of this month, something new that we're starting right here at Village HQ is a end of month get to uh, build your networks, get to see other people with a just a simple come and have a drink with the other business owners. So make sure that you check that out. Um, details on there will be on the, the Village um, HQ website and we'll get those details to you. But come and join us, um, be part of the community. If you've got um, any feedback, anyone that you um, would like to see on the Business Connector um, show, then send us an email, michael at michaelgriffiths.com.au. Otherwise, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to having you on board next time.